everybody. I am here to talk to you about how you can turn your dinner into your art supplies. So let's take a look at the process. I'm gonna show you some photos, then we're gonna talk about the results. So the first thing I'm going to do is take something like a steamed, an, art, an artichoke that I want to steam. You could do this with purple cabbage, purple onions, um, carrots, anything that has sort of like a bright color to the vegetable um, that you're going to consume. And if you steam it, and you can see in these photos, what I'm doing is I have a steamer set on top of my pot, and then I steamed the artichoke until it was ready to cook, uh, or ready to be eaten. It was fully cooked. And then you'll see what I get, the resulting um, uh, water that's left in the bottom chamber of the steamer is, has actually turned green. So that's going to be what I then save to turn into my pigment. Um, so what is, what's left, what I do is I take that leftover water. Now this water does have vegetable material in it. So if you leave it out on the counter for a couple of days, it is going to turn moldy. You're going to want to put it in a sealed container, put it in your refrigerator and use it within the next few days so that it doesn't go bad. It's not something that's going to last forever. But you can see that once I have it in this container, and it might need a little stir, like the sediment might kind of um, still, uh, sift to the bottom. But then what I can do is I can use it just like I would a paint, layering it to get darker pigments if I would like it darker. Another thing that you can do if you want something a little bit more concentrated is you could boil the water down so that there really isn't any water left. I mean, this is a small amount of water that was left after <laughs> filling the pot with water to steam the entire artichokes, but um, you could boil it even further to get a more concentrated pigment or do what I'm doing here, which is just layering. So then you can really just use it just like you would paint if you want some darker areas, add more layers. So there you go. So next time you uh, eat an artichoke, a purple cabbage, a sweet potato that's purple, when you steam it, check out that water and use it for your art supplies. It's cheap, it's easy, you're doing it anyway, so why not try it?